Today we're going to talk about activity types and how to get them organized to suit your coaching needs. I highly recommend that you spend a little time thinking about these and how you're going to use them as a coach. They can make adding workouts to a library and retrieving them later a lot easier and save you a lot of time. So from our coaching dashboard, we're going to go down onto the left to workouts and activities. And from there, we'll select customize activity types. Here we have the different types of activities that we may do. So we have run, bike, swim, cross train. You can see a variety of different activities. And inside each one, there are different options uh, that are submenus to that type of activity. You can come over here to the right and add a different activity type if there's something else that you want to add. Right now, we're gonna take a look at the run. I've already done some editing to my account, so this is going to look completely different than your account. And you should spend the time getting yours to a place that will work for you. So right here I have aerobic power, aerobic steady run, CV pace run. These are different activities that my team and my athletes use. So let's say there was something else I wanted to add in here. So let's say I wanted to add another subcategory category called cruise intervals. When I come down to the bottom, I see add new run subtype. I'll call that cruise intervals. And then I can add my subtype. Now I can have workouts that are under my cruise interval category that I can easily add to my calendar.